What's up tech enthusiasts and AI aficionados? Welcome back to the channel. And oh boy, do I have something groundbreaking to share with you today. We're talking about Hanyuan Video, a brand new open source video foundation model developed by Tencent. Now, what makes this model stand out? Well, according to their own benchmarks, it's performing on par with, and in some cases even better than the leading closed source models out there. And yes, this is an open weights model, folks, and it's really giving the open source community a huge boost in AI video generation. They're even boasting that their full model has over 13 billion parameters, making it the largest among all open source models. This model can currently facilitate text to video and video to video. It will also soon gain support for image to video in the near future. Just look at these results. Hanyuan Video is topping the charts, especially when it comes to motion quality. And remember, the model we're getting our hands on is the Turbo version, a slightly scaled down, speed optimized variant of their even more massive model. Even in this fast version, the quality is still turning heads. Now, I know many of you are already familiar with Comfy UI, the powerhouse interface for building complex stable diffusion workflows, and if you aren't, you're about to be. It's become my go-to for crafting intricate AI pipelines, and it's the perfect playground for harnessing the power of models like Hanyuan Video. But here's the catch. Running a state-of-the-art model like this, even the optimized version, requires some serious GPU muscle. We're talking close to 24 gigabytes of VRAM even for the new FP8 quantized version. That's where RunPod comes in. It's a cloud computing platform built for AI and machine learning, and it's going to be our trusty steed for this adventure. With access to a massive fleet of GPUs, RunPod lets us fire up these resource-hungry models without breaking a sweat. I've created a RunPod template that will automatically install Comfy UI, along with all the custom nodes needed to run the Hanyuan video model, and I'll walk you through the setup process step by step. And for my amazing Patreon supporters, I've got something extra special lined up. We're going to take this to the next level with custom Hanyuan video workflows in Comfy UI that integrate O-Llama models and a cutting-edge technique called Spatio-Temporal Guidance, aka STG. This is some next-level stuff that gives you incredibly fine-grained control over the video generation process. But that's not all. Remember my video on the LTX video model? I've got an update for that, too. We're adding LTX Tricks STG nodes to the text, image, and video-to-video -video workflows, giving your video generations a major boost. And to make it even easier, I've also updated the one-click Windows installer that sets up everything you need to run it. You can find all of this on my Patreon page. It's my way of saying thanks for all the support. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of setting this up. First things first, you'll find a link to my custom run pod template in the description below. Clicking that will take you straight to the deploy GPU pod page where the magic begins. If you don't already have a run pod account, you'll need to create one or just log in if you're already on board. Now, RunPod offers a plethora of GPU options. We're talking H100s, RTX 4090s, A100s, and much more. Each of these bad boys comes with a different per hour price tag. For today's adventure, we'll be using the A40. It packs a hefty 48 gigabytes of VRAM and 50 gigabytes of system RAM, which is more than enough to handle Hanyuan Video FP8 model. Plus, it's usually readily available. This GPU will set you back about 39 cents per hour, but you can snag it for as low as 28 cents per hour if you go for the interruptible pods, which we'll talk about in a sec. Want to tweak the template? No problem. Just hit that Edit Template button in the bottom left corner. Here, you can adjust the container disk and volume disk storage. Container storage is like a temporary workspace. It gets wiped when your pod shuts down. Volume storage, on the other hand, is persistent. It sticks around even after your pod restarts, and you can even share it between multiple pods. It's like the difference between a whiteboard and a notebook. You'll want to use volume storage for anything you want to keep, like your precious models. 
just remember that both storage options have their own fees, so keep an eye on that. I recommend setting your container storage to at least 80 gigabytes, just to give yourself plenty of room to work with. Once you've made your changes, click Set Overrides to lock them in. Now, you can choose how many GPUs you want to rent. For this demo, we're keeping it simple with just one. As you scroll down to the Instance Pricing section, you will see a few different options on how long you would like to rent your pod and the type of pod. You can see the total amount that will be charged at the bottom of the deploy page with the amount of compute you have chosen. After setting your configurations, hit that Deploy button. Now the magic starts, your, your pod will begin building, installing ComfyUI, the custom nodes, and downloading all the necessary models. This can take around 10 minutes to complete. You can monitor the progress in the logs, but beware. It might take a few refreshes for them to show up since the logs on RunPod can be a bit slow. Once you spot the final executed script and the local URL in the terminal, you're golden. And if you're using my default template, the storage usage usually sits around 52% when it's all done. Once the installation is complete, hit the connect button. Now, don't click on start web terminal, that's just the command line interface web page. Instead, click on the HTTP service 8188 button, which will take you to the actual comfy UI interface. Now that we got the setup process out of the way, it's time to put these new models to use. Simply upload the Hunyuan video text to video workflow. You'll find it linked down in the description. Feel free to tweak the settings to your liking. Make sure to check that each node is pointing to the correct model by clicking on the model selections. If you're using the advanced workflow from my Patreon, you can select the Llama 3.2 Vision model, which comes pre-downloaded in the Olama API node, and type your prompt in the text field. The model can automatically generate prompts that can be used as your positive prompts for your generations. The workflow also comes with the Hunyuan Video STG integrations that should help boost the overall quality of your output video. If you want to download a new Olama model, simply head back to the initial pod configuration page, click the connect button, and click Start Web Terminal. Once the terminal link has been initialized, Click to open the pod terminal webpage and run the command Olama Pole plus the model you want to download. Once it's downloaded, head back to the Comfy UI UI and refresh the page. The new model should now show in the drop list in the Olama node. Now let's return to the original workflow to finish the rest of the steps. Once that's done, type in your prompt. Adjust the resolution in the sampler node. I usually go for 720x512 for my output sizes, but remember, this model can handle up to 720x1280. Just be aware that higher resolutions and more frames mean more compute power will be needed. After setting your configurations, hit that Q button in the bottom pane to start generating. Now, the first generation might take a while because it needs to download the LLM and clip models. But after that, on the A4048GB GPU, I was seeing runs of about 4-5 to five minutes with the default settings with the text-to-video workflow. However, for the video-to-video -video workflow, generation times can be much much longer, closer to 15 minutes plus, depending on the quality and size of the input video. And there you have it. You're now ready to generate stunning videos with Hunyuan Video on RunPod. Stay tuned for more AI adventures. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out all the resources linked in the description below. Don't forget to share your creations in the Discord, as I would love to see what you guys create with this new model. As always, happy generating!